Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. Um, first of all, I just like to ask that you guys disregard your programs. I am not David Dizon. I grew my hair out, and he doesn't wear his glasses anymore, so there's no excuse to make mistake our identities. Um, yes, I am John Ronquillo. Um, so yeah. So I wasn't originally the one planned to give offer to her today. That was David. But as we were sitting back there, he looks over to me and whispers. I don't have anything to talk about for communion. <laughs> and so, your, my initial reaction isn't, oh, let me do it, let me do it. I want to give uh, a speech today. No, my initial reaction was, oh, that sucks. <laughs> but then, right after that, my mind starts racing and racing, and I, like, my whole week of SCP flashes before my eyes, and I realize, how does he not have anything to talk about? So, I, I look over and I say to him, you know what, I could do it if you want me to. And then he's, his face erupts in joy. He says, yes, yes, please do it. He runs up, tells Otto to change the schedule. And so here I am, giving the offertory message. But the problem was, after I volunteered and after he agreed to let me do it, my mind went blank and I realized, I don't know what to talk about either. Um, so yeah, so for the next few minutes, my mind's racing, thinking about everything. Okay, Monday night worship, Monday, night, Monday morning chapel, Tuesday night worship, uh, Tuesday night chapel. And I just, I couldn't find something to talk about. These things were already brushed show, talked about, and but they just, they didn't apply it to commute, uh, not commute, offertory. That's what I'm giving, to offertory. <laughs> but this, 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 and that was a problem I was facing all of SCP, was overthinking things. During, uh, like, debriefs and quiet time, I would look down, bow my head, and just think about so many things, and my consciousness just didn't feel in touch with God. So, the few times that I did remember that I should stop overthinking things and just breathe in <coughs> and out and calm myself, that was when I felt God with me, and that was when I knew that what was going through my head was God's work. So I did that back there, and as I was breathing in and out, I looked behind me and saw David's shield, which I'm borrowing for this demonstration. And I realized that this, this shield is exactly what I could talk about. In the boys' period session, we made these shields, and we learned about the shield acronym. Sacrifice, humility, identity, endurance, love, and discipline. Um, and so, during that period of session, we went outside, and we made these shields with wood, a bit of metal, some nails, and spray paint. And mine didn't turn out very good, so I didn't bring mine. That's why I brought David's. <laughs> but, yeah, but basically, I, I would like to see this as a metaphor for what we're building up today. Um, I realized, as I thought about it some more, that I don't think offshore messages are going to be my thing, so don't schedule any pastor for me. <laughs> but, because I hate asking for money. Even my parents, who are absolutely willing to give me $20 when I'm going out with my friends to buy food, I, I hate it. I feel like it's the worst feeling ever to do it. And now here I am asking all of you to donate money to the church. Please donate money to the church. <laughs> but, but it's just, it's such an odd feeling. But then I realized it's not just asking for money up here. Though money would be nice. Money, cash, box. Okay. But, but, offertory, it's not, the word offertory, in my opinion, isn't solely a monetary thing. You don't have to give money, even though it would be nice to please give money. Um, but what, what Offertory's goal is, is to build up the Church of God. And what I want you guys to see the Church of God is, is as a shield. Not made out of wood and spray paint and has little cloud caterpillars on it. But it's, it's something that protects and loves every one of us. Not, and not just every one of us here today, not just everyone out there standing on the world today, but the billions and billions of people that are going to come after us. The kids of our kids, and the kids of their kids, and farther down. The church is a shield to those, because the world is a terrible place, and we need all the help from God that we can get. And sometimes that just happens to come in a monetary thing, in a $20 bill, in a $10 bill, in a penny. But I don't want you guys to think that you have to give money today. It'd be nice if you give money today. <laughs> because because um, a shield isn't made out of cash and stuff. 
Um, this was something I just skipped over because I didn't write anything down. But when giving offertory, the acronym of SHIELD comes in extremely well as well. Sacrifice. I know that not everyone here is Bill Gates or Kobe Bryant with just money coming in every day, even if you're not playing a game in basketball. And just money piling in. But it takes sacrifice to know that you can spare that extra money to help build up the church. Humility. Um, when the baskets are being passed around, the goal isn't for you to stand up and like say, I'm giving $20 to the church today. No, it's a quiet thing and you're giving it as humble as possible because you know it's not about you giving money, it's about you helping to strengthen the church. I, identity. Um, again, it's not about, well, actually no, identity is about you. Um, but identity it is there to remind us who we are. We're the sons and daughters of God. And by being that, it's our duty to help build up the church, to help those who are influenced by it in a positive manner. And so, offertory is just another way to do that. L, love. I don't want you guys to do this out of any other feeling but love. I know I'm inserting a bunch of shameless plugs, please donate money now, right now, but, but it would be just even worse if you didn't donate out of just the love in your heart for the church and love in your heart for God. Uh, oh, I skipped E. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, okay, E, endurance. It's, again, we're not all billionaires, so it's, it can be hard to just donate money every week, and I'm not asking for that. But the endurance to keep loving God and to keep help strengthening the church as long as possible. And then the discipline. Again, this, strengthens in with the, this ties in with the fact that we're not all billionaires. Because it takes discipline to save that extra $1 bill, to not buy that candy bar from the vending machine, and to give it to the church. So all of these come together. And then by giving that, by giving money, by giving prayers, um, in fact, is good enough. We help build the shield that protects, um, that builds up the church and that protects everyone on earth with God's love. So with that, let's take up the offering. Thank you.